This is Shannon Smith and welcome to Educause Professional Development PD Bytes mini tutorials. Today I'm going to help you explore submitting a proposal for an online session at an Educause conference. This PD Byte session assumes you've already watched the overview of the CFP process mini tutorial. As you learned in the CFP process overview tutorial, you can find conferences for which there is an open call for proposals by floating over conferences and events from any EDUCAUSE web page and then selecting the EDUCAUSE event finder page. On our event finder page, you can search for an event or scroll through a list of upcoming events for which you can register or select to have an email sent to remind you to register. This is also where you will find events that are in the call for proposal stage. As you can see, there are two conferences with open calls for proposals. Notice the 2013 West-Southwest Regional Conference has an icon and text indicating this conference has an online companion conference. Let's take a look. EDUCAUSE conference web pages will change based upon where we are in the conference cycle. Since we are in the CFP stage, let's go ahead and click on the Call for Proposals tab. As you recall, the CFP page can be thought of as the blueprint that was created by the Conference Program Committee to design the conference program. It starts off with a proposal preparation checklist to ensure that you have the necessary information together in order to submit your proposal. It also includes information about the tracks and various session formats for this conference. Because this conference has an online component, the CFP page explains the types of potential online delivery modes. In addition to presenting in person at the conference location, you may offer to have your in-person session streamed in a webcast format, or you can submit a proposal for an online-only conference session. Let's look at these options in a little more detail. There will always be a choice to present face-to-face -face only, as some session types may not lend themselves to an online delivery format. If you're proposing a session that will be physically delivered at the conference location, you can indicate that you're willing to have your session streamed via webcast to the online conference attendees. If your session is chosen to be webcast, there will be a professional video production team in the back of the room that will record your session. A moderator will also be in the room to monitor questions that come in from the online audience and will bring the questions to the speaker's attention at the appropriate time. It's also important to know that the session will be recorded and made available with the online conference proceedings. On the CFP page, when you have expanded the description for a webcast session delivery option, you will see that we provide a link to a sample webcast recording. Here is what an EDUCAUSE webcast will look like to our audience as it is streamed live or from an archived recording. The presenter's slides will be projected as well as the current speaker. This will be important for you to consider as you submit your proposal. Will your session be amenable to this type of format? Can you offer creative ways to engage both the face-to-face -face and online audience? EDUCAUSE is at the leading edge of online conferences and delivering a webcast for an EDUCAUSE conference is an excellent professional development opportunity that we hope you will consider. The other session delivery option that may be available for proposing for an online conference is an online only session. EDUCAUSE sets up a broadcast center at the physical conference location and speakers are able to come to this room if they are attending the conference in person. Or a speaker may deliver a session from their own office. EDUCAUSE uses Adobe Connect to conduct these highly interactive sessions and we provide a link to a sample for this type of session as well. If you present an online only session, you will have a great deal of flexibility in how you present your content. You are able to show videos or use a webcam or simply present using slides. We have the ability to poll the audience and EDUCAUSE staff will help promote engagement with the online audience through the chat area. If you choose to present an online only session, EDUCAUSE will be by your side every step of the way. We will provide guidance on designing your session and will help you become facile in this increasingly important type of presentation. Knowing how to deliver a great webinar is an outstanding form of professional development and we hope you will consider conducting this type of session. Now that you've thought about your session delivery choices, you can proceed with your proposal preparation process as described in the overview of the CFP process mini tutorial. The only difference you will notice is that when you submit your proposal, you will have the option to select the session delivery option that you are most interested in. The remainder of the CFP submission form is identical to the form used for EDUCAUSE face-to-face -face conferences. 
This mini tutorial on how to prepare and submit an online conference proposal has been brought to you by Educause Professional Development. This is Shannon Smith. Be sure to look for other PD Bytes to help you get the most out of your relationship with Educause.